fraudulent license plate drew Officer Stan Cook's attention. What Officer Cook didn't know was that he only John Sinopati had recently been fired from his job, divorced from his wife, and living on the beach. He was also extremely dangerous. Hi there. Did you see your driver's license, registration, and no fault insurance, or whatever part of that you have? Well, I just, uh, I don't know what it is. Okay, I need to see your driver's license. Well, I'm on my driver's license with me right now, but I can get driver's license on. Okay, but let me tell you something. It's really important right now that you don't lie to me. If I catch you in a lie, you'll be going. One nine two zero. Need a driver's license? Check by number five seven five one two three four five six. After checking with dispatch, Officer Cook found out that Iowani Sinopati did in fact have a valid Hawaii driver's license. He then went to the rear of the vehicle to see how the fraud plate had been modified. Okay, hey, Ryder, you are up and up with me, so I'm just going to give you a citation for the no-fault insurance. Oh, just, uh, okay. I'm going to give you warnings on the rest, right? Okay, so you're going to need to sign a citation book. Oh, but I can see what's underneath the jacket. Oh, that's not the officer. Don't touch the gun. Don't touch the what? gun. Officer, not loaded. <laughs> to the scene, we could see that uh, the victim, uh, Sinopati, was uh, mortally wounded. Was, so we concentrated our efforts on the police officer, Stan Cook, who was uh, very seriously injured. He needed um, immediate assessment and very aggressive therapy before being taken to the hospital. Uh, he also needed immediate surgery for his wounds he uh, received at the scene. We give Stan Cook a lot of credit. Um, he's a tough man, he stood his ground, he didn't give up, even though it could have turned out differently. But also, we, we got there pretty fast, too. 